everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Khalid here, and today I'm gonna share with you guys this box that I received from Influencer. If you guys don't know what Influencer is yet, it's basically like an app. It kind of reminds me of Yelp. You just go in there and review beauty products. They have a lot of categories actually. They like beauty products, skincare, food, gadgets, technology, and everything basically. The more you review, they will more likely uh, send you free stuff also to try out for your honest opinion. You earn points and badges. This is actually my second box that they sent me. The first box, they sent me a moisturizer from Bosia. And this time, they uh, sent me a box from Honest Beauty from Jessica Alba. This is how it came in. I was gonna film the first box they sent me but I was just too busy to even um, film it so I decided that I was actually gonna film this one anyways I'm so excited to share you guys this box right here so I'm gonna just unbox it for you guys so yeah as you can see on the front it just says honest beauty and it says clean beauty that works and on the side it also says influencer right here there was actually a tape right here but I already took it off of it and when it came in but yeah, and it's an honest beauty again, and it just tells you the Instagram, the YouTube, and the Facebook, and Twitter, where you can follow them, and also the hashtags. Just open like this, and this is how it was laid out. All these products was free or complimentary for testing purposes. It just telling you what's in there and basically a quick info about the products that you're receiving. It comes with a mascara. But yeah, this is how the packaging looks. It says it's a stream link mascara plus lash primer. And then it comes with also a primer. And it's an everything primer that's matte. It's oil-free formula that helps blur imperfection and control shine. And then we have a lip crayon. It's demi-matte and it's high impact matte color with a luscious cushiony feel. It also comes with a magazine right here. It had Jessica Alba on cover. Yeah, I love Jessica Alba. She's just a natural beauty. So yeah, and I'm excited to try this out. Alright, so that's basically everything that's inside the box. Now let's go ahead and start testing the products. And just FYI, I already done my eye makeup and my eyebrows, but I did not put on any um, foundation or primer. So I say providing me with a primer. I want to try it out on camera and I actually never really wear mascara that often. I usually just put on my fake lashes, but today I'm not gonna wear my fake lashes and I'm gonna actually use mascara. So anyways, um, I guess let's start off with the primer. So the direction says gently blend a dime size amount of everything matte primer all over your face as the first step in your makeup routine. Also can be used throughout the day over makeup as a touch up to mattify the skin and reduce the midday shine. So now you guys are all close up and personal. So I just put it into the back of my hand like this and I'm going to apply right here first because this is where I have big pores smell kind of smell kind of weird <laughs> I don't know how to describe it a little bit like sunscreen but like it smells like dough like cooking dough it's not I want to say sticky but it feels like kind of like a moisturizer but not a heavy one so I do feel like it's magnifying my face pretty well like I look a little bit less shiny on the camera okay, but it didn't really seem like it fell in my pores I had pretty big pores right here so let me apply a little bit more there and see if it will fill in sometimes I had to like really tap in the primer for it to fill in my big pores because I have scarring for past acne that has made my pore really big um it doesn't seem like it's filling in my big pores though. 
but it is controlling my shininess. I guess this would be good if you get really oily, but if you have big pores like me, I'm not really sure, or maybe just top another primer in it because I usually use my Poreless Benefit Primer and that always helps fill it in. Alright, so with that being done, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my concealer because I don't have any face makeup on. So I just wanna see how it is with like foundation and concealer on top of this primer. So there goes my concealer. And now we're gonna apply my foundation. I'm using my usual The Fenty Beauty by Rihanna and this was in shade 230. There goes my foundation. And I'm just going with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette in the shade Lyric. I'm just going to apply that to my under eyes. I'm looking at my pores right now. After I apply foundation over it, it didn't look too bad. But then I guess that is kind of thanks to the Fenty Beauty Foundation in general. It does a really good job at filling in my pores and covering it. But you know, like, Usually, like I like my primer to kind of show that it filled it in. So I don't know. Um, but overall, I think it's okay. It's not bad, I guess. But it just I still prefer my usual primer. I don't think I'm gonna contour my face for this video. I'm just doing this video for the purpose of um, actually just trying out the product and showing you guys. Let's try out the mascara. And like I said before, I don't really use mascara that often. So it comes with a lash primer and mascara. And this is kind of how it looks like. This side with the big white side, it says mascara. And the little end with the pink side, I guess that is the primer. So we'll try the lash primer first. I'm just gonna apply more of that primer. I probably should curl my lashes first, but like I said, I don't ever really apply mascara, so you don't think about stuff like that. Okay, so now let's go on the other side, the white side. Okay, so it's like this. And you can see the brush tip is really thin. Let's try it out. Hmm. I actually like it. I might actually use this on days where I really just want like natural makeup. I think that lash primer actually really helped to lengthen it. It's getting a little bit clumpy now. Oh, maybe I'm applying too much, but I don't know. I just try to apply it evenly. Can you guys see kind of like the difference? <laughs> the difference i think it looks quite nice so uh that mascara is actually a plus let's go ahead and do the other side too i wonder if i use the primer and use another mascara how it would work i should try that out sometime so yeah this is how it looks i think that i will actually use this mascara more often anyways now next to next product the next one is a lip crayon that they sent me and it says the shade is blossom that's how it looks like see so you can twist it go up like that Wait, let me not do that i'm just gonna do a swatch for you guys so let me swatch that wow that's pretty Ooh, really is like a blossom. Okay, so let's try it out. My lip is a little chap, but they say that it's supposed to lock in moisture, so let's see if it does that. Uh oh. It's kind of like you can see the crack of my dry lips, but that might just be my fault because I don't use lip balm like how I should. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it to be honest. It's all it's just okay. It's just like it's not bad, but to be honest, I don't see myself reaching for it in general. So I would think that out of all the products they sent me, the primer, out of five star, I would give this like a three because I do feel like it works pretty good. 
It's just that it doesn't fill my pores and that's just kind of a must have for me. It did help control the shine, definitely, as you can see when I apply it. It doesn't leave my face feel sticky, so that's a plus for me. I might reach out for it like sometimes. Uh, I might travel with this. I will give this three and a half star. And then next one is where we try the mascara. I really love the mascara. Uh, I think this was actually my favorite mascara now. Or this is first time I actually tried mascara with a primer. So I think that made a big difference. And I thought that was pretty neat. It really hold my lashes in place. And I'll definitely be using this a lot more. Yes, this was a five star for me. The lip crayon, maybe two and a half star. I'm just not a big fan of lip crayon too and I don't know, I didn't, it didn't wow me like you can see the crack on my lips and I don't like that so I mean like I said it might just be my fault I probably need to moisturize my lips more and scrub it and use it more so you know like it's not a big deal to me but I don't hate it but I don't love it so I do feel like this is great for really natural makeup and Jessica Alba is someone who just looks so natural all the time she's really beautiful and natural and I think these products really describe her like I can totally see her using these products thank you so much for Influencer to send me these products uh, I think that you guys should definitely try it out I'll put a link down below in the description let you guys know what Influencer is about Seven hours later, I decided that I want to do a flash photo test and my skin and foundation still looks great. But I also didn't go out anywhere that day. I stayed indoor. By the way, can I just mention that Jessica Alba actually liked my photo of the products on Instagram and she even left me a comment. How fucking cool is that? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below to let me know your thoughts and what you'd like to see next. And lastly, don't forget to follow me on my social medias. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.